Some time back, I had brought this video in which I was discussing with you the recruitment process that happens in PwC and that happened with me. And in that video only, I had asked a question whether you want me to discuss the interview questions to which a lot of you replied as a yes. So in today's video, I will be discussing all the different interview questions that were asked in multiple rounds. Majorly, there was a separate managerial or the HR round. The majority of the questions were asked in that round. Other uh, such questions were asked in different, you know, one or two questions here and there were asked by different people in other different rounds as well. Uh, I know it has been some time and you know the video has come out really late. I apologize to all of you who's been waiting for this video and have been wanting to make this video you know way back than I am making because uh, there were uh, also you know lately I have not been posting a lot of videos because uh, there has been some other tasks that I need to take care of. But as the saying goes it's better late than never. So here I am bringing to you all the different questions that were asked to me. Uh, now, just to make sure that these questions are all the HR related questions, which also equally play a very important role in you getting selected. Before we start today's video, I would like to welcome all our new viewers. Here in this channel, we discuss all about software updates, tech updates and organizational updates. If any of these topics are of interest to you, then you might want to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss another video from us. Also, before we deep dive, I would like to tell you that in the video, I have only discussed the questions. Reason? Because if I would have put the answers into it, the video would have become really lengthy and I'm sure none of you want to watch a lengthy video. So here what I have done is I have marked the questions with, you know, I have posed a number in front of the questions. So uh, any question that you wish or want me to answer, then you can put the number down in the comment section and I will definitely give you the answer to that question. I can either make a video if the question has, a, if a lot of people have asked for that question and I can separately answer you, uh, you know, via Instagram or anywhere if it's just you who want an answer to the question but in the video I've only discussed the questions just keeping the timeline in mind and nothing more so if you want an answer do comment below the question number and you'll definitely get the answer to it with that being said let's get started during my recruitment process I had three different rounds out of which two were technical and one was managerial and in all of these three rounds this was the first question that was posed to me so tell me about yourself is the most important question that you will be facing in your interview uh, and hence I would like to focus that you please be well prepared for this question because you know this will actually set the tone of the interview as it is the first question if you mess up the first question itself I think you and I we both know how the interview will tread forward so it's better to prepare this question and the good news for you is that we have already made a video on this question answer, uh, telling how you should answer and if you are a fresher what points you should keep in that answer and if you are an experienced person what other points you should keep in that answer so everything has been discussed in detail uh, I will give the link of that video in the description box below. Do go and check that video out. Moving ahead, uh, I was also asked why PwC and why not a core company? Now, uh, many of you might be knowing and for those who do not know, who are new who are, are new viewers, I am not a computer science engineer. I'm an electrical engineer. So this is a question that I often get in my interviews that why have you come to the software sector and why have I not made my career in the core sector? So this is again one of the questions that I have made a video on and if you have not watched and if you want to know what the answer to this question is or how at least I tackled this question uh, to the infinite many times that I have been ask this again I have put the link in the description box do go and check for yourself what the answer should actually consist of the next question is how are you the best fit for this position now this question can be a bit tricky and uh, you know you have to take care uh, and you have to actually focus on your skills and everything but yeah this was the question that was posed to me another question that was asked to me was to describe a situation in which the client demanded for something on a sudden and which was not actually planned according to the plan that was made and what you did uh, how you fulfilled it or what you did to tackle the situation and you know overall how did it impact the project or what happened how did you handle it so this was the question it was a completely situation and your experience based question so if you're a fresher definitely you might not be getting uh, such a question but if you are someone who is an experienced person who is trying to get into a job with PwC then this question might come and you need to be prepared with a certain example in your mind beforehand so that you know you're able to answer and you don't just go blank when this uh, question is asked to you uh, the next question was a bit of a scenario based question or an assumption based question uh, I would say because it was that how will you handle your team when you get one 
So uh, see, I had just two years experience and with two years experience, you don't become a team lead, right? So I had not ever handled a team of my own when I was giving this interview. So, but I was asked this question that, you know, how will I handle, suppose there is a team and suppose there is a conflict, then how will I handle it? And what will I do? And of course, the very famous question, uh, although I was not asked this in the different technical rounds, I was just asked this when this managerial round was happening, in what direction I want to take my career and what do I want to become in the future? Now, there was no timeline given to the question that, you know, where do you see yourself in five years or 10 years, nothing like that. But yes, what do I want to do and what do I want to become? Is that thing clear in my head or I'm just blank that, okay, in whichever project you'll keep me, uh, I'll just go and work in that and I'll, I don't have a certain plan in myself they wanted to check that probably in this question and this was the question that was given to me as well so these were the set of questions that were asked to me in the different multiple rounds of course the rounds only happen for you know half an hour so the questions were not much and when you are just two years of experience uh, the questions are a bit minimal and uh, simply basically a bit easy I would say so yeah these were the questions if you want an answer to any of these questions put the question number down in the comments section do comment below and tell me how you liked this video and of course if you have faced some other questions in your interviews put them down also so that our audience get benefited on a whole uh, thanks for watching career Q. stay tuned take care bye